His father's an absolutely fantastic, wonderful, fantastic magician, Mr. Jeffrey. They're from uh, Shrewsbury. Yeah. And you moved to Wales, Wales, no? How the hell are they getting over the wall? <laughs> <coughs> right, gentlemen, please put your hands together and give a lovely warm welcome here from Mr. Paul Ray. <laughs> But, um, I'd like to show you some of the tricks which have uh, helped to keep me off Britain's Got Talent. And, uh, the, I went to this magic shop the next day. It was in, in the middle of Birmingham. And I can still remember it like it was yesterday. There was a little, little, um, little curry house next door called Gandhi's Revenge. And there's a pub on the other side, a little Jewish pub called the Kosher Horses. And, <laughs> And I went, uh, I was in Surly Hall. Have you heard of Surly Hall? Surly. I said to the agent, I said, how do I find the place? He said, it's easy, Paul. He said, what you do is go down the M6 and you look for the Birmingham turn off. She's a big fat woman with greasy hair and a moustache. She stood on the side of the road. She said, I'm here to give you super sex. I said, I think I'll have the soup. So, <laughs> She said, if you can guess what's in this bag, she says, I'll give you a big sloppy wet kiss. I said, I'll have a guess. I'll say a six foot pole. <laughs> oh, she says, this could be a lucky day. <laughs> Come here, big boy. Need somebody who's right-handed. Are you right-handed? Perfect. Perfect. I'm just going to check this. Uh, it's unloaded. It is a real gun. Would you just just get a good grip with your right hand? That's it. Point it to the ceiling. Don't point to anybody else. Okay. Hold it up there. Perfect. Get a good grip. Trick. I've had a row with my wife. <laughs> She's so bad. McDonald's, right. What he used to do is he used to get a bottle. I got a bottle of uh, Budweiser. Okay. He put the bottle of Budweiser into the bag like that, and then he just flick his fingers, wave his hands over the top like that, and yes, the Budweiser completely vanished. Then he used to snap his fingers, wave his hands over the top, and it used to come back. <laughs> And then he put it back into the bag like that, and he'd flick his finger and wave his hands, and yes, it had vanished. Oh, really, it had completely vanished. And he'd just flick his finger, wave his hand, and it used to come back again. He used to get about 20 minutes out of this, because it was mostly a German audience. And uh, he used to stand on the chair and shout out, Schweinhund, Schweinhund, which I think is German for more. I don't know. Is it, is it? He just put it in the bag. Like, 20 minutes out of it, until one night the cruise director went up to my dad. He said, you know that, you know that trick you do with, with the bottle? He said, yes, the bottle of vodka. He said, you cannot do that trick tonight. He said, we've got Alcoholics Anonymous on the ship. He said, you pull that bottle out of that bag. He said, they'll rush the stage. Well, he said, what can I do? He said, we have to do a bit of mumbo jumbo stuff. Just flick your fingers like that and just, and just see what happens. And, and he did, he just flicked his fingers like that. And lo and behold, The bottle had vanished. And there's nothing in my solution. And ladies and gentlemen, there's more. <laughs> you get the cruise program out like this, you see. Just flip through it. Show sure it's completely empty. And then you make a little pocket. Another little drink. magic sign. <laughs> Throw it open like that, you see, and the water completely vanished. They used to carry him around the ship on the shoulders. Uh, not today, obviously, but uh, 
But this is the bit that used to get the applause. Because when he poured it out again. <laughs> no! Now then, Peter, just get off me your line a minute. That's it, perfect, right. Now then, um, what I need to borrow is a jacket. Can I, can I borrow your jacket? Perfect. Is anybody here from Telford, by the way? Anybody here from Telford? Anyone from Telford? It's just that I need a knife. Anybody got a knife? No. There we go. Look at that, you see. I'll examine the, uh, the knife. Oh, the jacket. You examine the knife, okay? Now, this always works as long as I've got a very good quality jacket. You can see straight away, Peter, this is very good quality. It says, do not dry clean, just fumigate and burn. <laughs> Is this in the pocket? <laughs> I don't think they noticed that. But, uh, I'll have the, the knife. Put the knife down there like that. I want you to hold your knife, like, the jacket like that, like a bullfighter. Hold that one there, have that one there. That's it, perfect. Excellent. Because I need a piece of newspaper. I've got a piece of newspaper over here. <laughs> Just uh, stand on one leg, Peter. <laughs> now, very slowly, raise the other one. It can't be done, it can't be done. Just... Which piece would you like us to use? This one or this one? That one. You sure? You want to change your mind? No. Happy the mind you've got. <laughs> right. Now, this, this is not a trick. This is more like an experiment. What we're going to attempt to do here, Peter... Just... I'm going to attempt to shove this knife straight through the newspaper, round about that, coming through the jacket, round about there, okay? Okay, just raise the coat an inch. If that's an inch, you've got no problems. Just down there, like this. Okay, right there. Don't get excited, that's the knife. Okay, right. What we're going to do, just close your eyes. Dark, isn't it? Now open them again. And what we're going to try and do is I'm going to just try and ram the knife straight through the jacket, coming around about here. Okay, round about here. Whereabouts would you like the vent? The, uh, <laughs> Where would you like the knife? Round about that? Knife jacket! On the count of three, we're going to ram the knife through your jacket. Three. One, two, three. <laughs> it's good cloth, this piece. <laughs> this, this is the hard part of the trick. It's getting the handle through. There we go. <laughs> This is the clever part of the trick. You'll notice the knife is completely undamaged. Can you see that? <laughs> However, the newspaper is not no good. Yeah. Just help me on with the jacket. Yeah. Now, I just want to reassure, just reassure Peter that there's nothing at all wrong with his jacket. Now, be honest, if you, if you walked into this room tonight, would you notice he had a hole in his jacket? <laughs> Do you know any magic words? No, oh shit is not a magic word, Peter. <laughs> it's a magic show, we just take the clip off like this. There's nothing at all wrong with your jacket. Thank you very much indeed. Give Peter a big round of applause.